Thanks, Ankit and uh, Nova, for the introduction and the opportunity to speak here. I hope you like our vaguely provocative uh, title of our study, uh, looking at combining magnetic surgery with a new robotic platform. And I'm going to present some initial um, inhuman experience that represents the collective efforts of uh, the team in Chile, uh, Duke University, Cleveland Clinic in Ohio, and Cleveland Clinic in Abu Dhabi. Uh, these are my disclosures, uh, and importantly, I do serve as a consultant to Levita. Okay, so uh, minimally invasive surgery is always in progress. Sessions like this uh, will showcase new technologies and, and give us opportunities to apply less invasive therapies to our patients. Two of these opportunities include uh, devices that I'll, I'll show you some initial experience with, uh, one of which is magnetics. Uh, there's an opportunity to reduce uh, invasiveness, uh, to potentially operate outside of a, a, a trocar or platform, and potentially manipulate tissue in different planes that wouldn't be limited uh, by a trocar, an instrument that traverses the abdominal or chest wall. On top of that, robotics uh, has many applications. Uh, but I think that one of the areas of benefit that clearly can be identified is increased control. And really leveraging the different strengths of these technologies may be an opportunity to apply them to minimally invasive surgery. So as we look at uh, incisions of the abdominal wall from kind of standard uh, to uh, less standard trocars, uh, you know, what are the opportunities to do procedures uh, without incision, without trauma to the abdominal wall? So this is the Levita Magnetic Surgical System. Uh, it's a instrument that allows for an intracorporeal deployable tip, uh, which can be attached to tissue, and then manipulated externally uh, with a magnetic controller that you see there. When the operation is commenced, the tip is retrieved and removed uh, from the patient. Uh, and obviously, you can imagine that the tip could be manufactured in uh, different forms and shapes, allowing for uh, different types of tissue uh, manipulation. This is just a schematic of uh, uh, how it would look in a cartoon position with standard laparoscopic trocars. And then in this uh, picture, a handheld magnet allowing for manipulation of the grasper or tool inside under laparoscopic vision. So. Uh, a few years ago, we presented our initial inhuman uh, experience with magnetic surgery in the U.S. at the Emerging Technology session. So we're happy to be back. Um, this was for laparoscopic cholecystectomy done in Cleveland, Ohio. We subsequently published our uh, experience in surgical endoscopy, handheld magnets. Since then, uh, several other U.S.-based uh, institutions have published on this as well, uh, including Cleveland Clinic, Duke, uh, and Stanford. But what I'm going to present today, and differently uh, than what you've seen already, is a new uh, robotic controller that um, allows for external magnet uh, manipulation, uh, controlled uh, by a surgeon real time during the course of an operation. These allow for uh, real time adjustments, but also can be programmed to specific uh, positions uh, and uh, the target organ uh, moved to allow for optimal retraction. Uh, and these allow for program stations, and as I said, can be uh, surgeon controlled. So I'm going to show you uh, uh, some initial uh, outcomes from a, a small study that looked at the first human performance of this magnetic robotic controller as an accessory tool to the magnetic surgical system in reduced port cholecystectomy. So these operations were performed in Chile uh, after IRB approval. These were 10 consecutive patients, all cholecystectomy. Um, of note, uh, the magnetic surgical system is FDA-approved applications for uh, cholecystectomy and bariatric surgery in the United States. So we used this uh, robotic magnetic system in addition to one 10-millimeter trocar and two 5-millimeter trocars. Uh, and the, the magnetic robotic uh, system controlled uh, our surgical system. Primary outcomes were, were perioperative mainly with a focus on uh, safety and efficacy, and secondary outcomes were time and efficiency. So this is um, uh, an ex vivo model demonstrating the robotic arm and the deployed uh, magnetic grasper. So this is a simulated tissue uh, being manipulated uh, with the robot externally. So there's a, 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 a similar to a joystick mechanism that allows you to move uh, the magnet, uh, which then uh, moves the target tissue internally to allow for 
either cephalad retraction in the gallbladder or lateral retraction in the stomach during sleeve gastrectomy or uh, liver retraction. So in this uh, study, we did 10 cases, um, kind of standard uh, patient demographics. Average age was 30, average BMI 27. All the patients had symptomatic cholelithiasis. We did perform uh, cholangiography uh, in some of these cases. But the mean operative time of 49 minutes, no complications, no readmissions, and all were discharged within 23 hours. So pretty um, not too exciting uh, results, but that's kind of the point to be able to adopt this technology and do a very standard operation uh, uh, successfully. So what does this look like in the operating room? So this is, uh, during these cases, you can see that this is a, a freestanding uh, separate robot. Uh, it, it has a, a, a platform. Uh, it's not bed attached, but it can be moved in and out of the room. You can see on the laparoscopic screen that uh, we're moving the robotic arm to allow for medial and cephalad retraction uh, uh, with the grasper that's de been deployed intra-abdominally. And once the, the gallbladder's removed, uh, the, the uh, tip is uh, removed with the patient and the specimen after the, the case is completed. So uh, our results, uh, you know, using magnets in a situation uh, where there are other metallic instruments, and it's important to make sure that there's no interference with other OR equipment, that did not happen. Having the robotic controller stabilizes uh, and makes the magnetic retraction easier uh, and more predictable. Surgeon satisfaction was high, um, easy to use, uh, it was quite efficient. And what's interesting, and just anecdotally, is that the patients who were involved in the study actually were quite um, desirous to be involved in, in magnetic surgery. I thought it was uh, uh, interesting to them. So uh, obviously this is an initial limited experience, but I think that it, it, as much as it can over the course of 10 cases demonstrates early safety and efficacy, uh, and it was efficient and, and easy to use. But you can imagine how this might be a platform for more complex procedures too, utilizing uh, advantages of magnetics and robotics. And I think fundamentally, uh, as we're in the emerging technology session, innovation remains central to MIS. Less invasive techniques may be unique to particular populations. And I think that this is a good example of additive platforms uh, used together uh, to potentially benefit our patients. Thank you very much. Thank you.